concept of instantaneous center, how to locate these centers, etc. are explained in my separate videos. Links are given in this description. In this video, I will explain how to determine angular velocity of one link when angular velocity of any other link is given. Velocity at any point of link can be determined once we know the angular velocity. Now this is based on the concept of angular velocity ratio theorem and this theorem states that the ratio of angular velocity of two links relative to a third link is inversely proportional to the distances of their common instantaneous center from their respective centers of rotation. This theorem can be represented in equation form as omega x divided by omega y is equal to i x y dash i1y that is distance of this instantaneous center and distance between this instantaneous center and this instantaneous center in numerator similarly distance between this instantaneous center to this, this instantaneous center this equation can be explained using one example so this is a four bar chain in which there are four links one two three four with four links, there will be six instantaneous centers out of which these I12, I23, I34 and I14 can directly be located. I13 and I24 can be located using Kennedy's theorem. Now suppose you want to determine angular velocity of this link 4 while given uh, angular velocity of link 2. In that case, what you have to do in place of x, we will write 4 and in place of y, we will write 2. So this equation will become omega 4 divided by omega 2. Now here this is 2 4, this 2 4, this 2 you have to write here i 2 4 dash i 1 2. This cross multiply inversely proportional therefore this is i 1 2 and this is omega 4 i 2 4 again same denominator and i 1 4. That means ratio of omega 4 divided by omega 2 is equal to distance of instantaneous center i 2 4 to i 1 2 divided by distance of i24 from i14. Now remember that we will keep fixed link always as link number 1. We will give link number 1 always to the link which is fixed. Once you get this omega 4 using this relation because all these instantaneous centers are known. For example, i24 to i12. i24 is this one is i24 and this one is i12. So you have to measure this length from here to here, this length, this is numerator and I24 to I14, this is I24 to I14, this is your denominator. So once you get these two lengths, multiply this ratio, this ratio with omega 2 to get omega 4. In this way, we will get magnitude of omega 4, angular velocity, but direction, how can you determine direction of omega 4? Now, if this common instantaneous center you have to see this common instantaneous centers and these are instantaneous centers of rotation i12 is the instantaneous center of rotation of 2 and i14 is the instantaneous center of rotation of 4 so these two in comparison to i24 the location of these two in comparison to i24 now you can see this i24 this is i14 and i12 this i14 and i12 both are in one side of I24 and therefore uh, link 4 and 2 will have same direction of rotation. Suppose I24 is somewhere here, in that case I14 and I12 will be on two separate sides of I24. In that case the direction of rotation of 2 and 4 will be opposite to each other. But in this, this case I14 and I12 both are on same side, therefore 2 and 4 will rotate in same direction. Once you get angular velocity velocity can be used using formula r omega for example if you want to determine velocity of point a in link 4 what you have to do you have to multiply you have to multiply angular velocity of link 4 with this distance from center of rotation to distance of point a from i14 to a now we will take some examples so one example problem is a four bar mechanism is shown in figure crank AB rotates at a uniform speed of 300 rpm in anti-clockwise direction in the given position locate all instantaneous centers and find angular velocity of link BC. We have to determine angular velocity of BC given angular velocity of AB uh, which is rotating 300 rpm from that we can calculate angular velocity of AB. So first we have to draw 
configuration diagram the same diagram we have to redraw now this 60 centimeter largest length and smallest length is 20 centimeter you can see uh, we cannot draw it in sheet so we will take some scale so let's take scale 1 is to 10 so this length will be of 6 centimeter maximum length and smallest length this will be of 2 centimeter length so what you have to do first mark 6 centimeter line 6 centimeter two points from here to here 6 centimeter and then draw a line fix this link and uh, then after from this point keep your protector and draw 60 degree so this 60 degree i have marked remove this and joining this line along this line mark this two centimeter line draw so i have drawn this two centimeter line along this along this path so once you get this point from this point take radius of 3 cm and draw arc so radius of this is the radius of 3 cm with this center i have drawn arc similarly from point d d as center and 3.2 cm as radius draw another arc it intersects at this point now join this point with these two points so in this way you have completed uh, your configuration diagram now in this configuration diagram you have to mark this link fixed link as link number one and other links you can represent uh, you can number any you can give any number to the, them uh, in continuation so i have given this as two this uh, this link as number three and this link as number four by visual inspection you can uh, locate some of the instantaneous centers so this is i12 so this link one and link two uh, join, uh, joint of these two is I12. Similarly, this is I23, link 2 and 3. So, this is I34, 3 and 4. And this point, uh, this instantaneous center is I14, link 1 and 4. Now, still two more instantaneous centers are there. In this circle, you have to mark number of points equal to number of links. So, there are four links. So, mark four points. Uh, now, whatever instantaneous centers you have obtained, uh, draw lines for those for example i12 is there so i will draw line from 1 to 2 2 3 is there so i will draw line 2 to 3 in that way so all this i have drawn so there are four instantaneous centers already known so you get these lines now you have to get uh, i13 so 13 you can see as i draw this 13 it divides this figure into two triangles now I13 is common in two triangles. One triangle is 1, 2, 3, 1 and another triangle is 1, 4, 3, 1. Therefore I13 can be obtained. So I13 can be obtained by drawing a line I1 passing through I12 and I23. So I will draw one line which is passing through I12 and I23. And similarly I will draw another line which is passing through I14 and 34, so 34 and 14. So intersection of these two lines because I13 should be in line with I12 and I23. Similarly, I13 should be in line with I14 and I34. Therefore, intersection of these two lines will be I13. So we will draw this uh, I12 and 23, I12 and 23. So draw a line through I12 and 23. Similarly, 34 and 14. This is 14 and 34. Draw line from these two points so intersection of these two is i13 similarly i24 24 is remaining so 24 draw this line so i24 how can we get 24 i24 so again it is dividing two triangles are there so i12 and i14 will in, will be in line with i24 similarly i34 and i23 will be in line with i24 so write these two i14 i12 and i34 i23 i34 23 now draw line through these points i14 and 12 14 and 12 so from here draw one line and 34 and 23 so this is 34 and 23 so this line i have drawn first and then this line intersection of these two will be i24 so we have located all the instantaneous centers so this is what it is asked and now next what we have to do we have to determine angular velocity of link bc this angular velocity we have to determine bc means link 3 we have to determine angular velocity of link 3 and angular velocity of link link this link ab ab means link 2 is known 
so first what we will do we will calculate omega 2 omega 2 is 2 pi n by 60 so n is given 300 rpm put all these values you will get 31.41 radian per second as omega 2 so once you get omega 2 now you can determine omega 3 by using formula omega 3 by omega 2 is equal to so again 2 3 so i 2 3 in numerator i 1 2 so this is 2 so i 1 2 Similarly, this is I23 in denominator and I13, this one I13. I have to determine ratio of length between I23 to 12 and I23 to 13. Now, all these points are available. So, I23 to 12, I23 to 12, I23 is this one and 12 is this one. So, this length. Now, this length we have already drawn 2 cm line. So, this is 2 cm. Now, I23 to 13, 23, this is 23 and 13. So you have to measure this length. So measure this length. So when when you measure this length, you are getting about uh, this is 2.8. So you are getting 2.8 centimeters. So I have written 2.8 centimeters. Put these values here and calculate omega 3. So omega 3 is equal to uh, 2 times 2. So omega 3 is equal to 31.41 multiplied 2 divided by 2.8 which is equal to 22.44 radian per second. Now this direction of rotation is, I have written here clockwise. How I have decided this, this uh, direction of rotation of 3 will be clockwise? Because uh, this common instantaneous center, so link 2 and 3, so common center is 2, 3. From 2, 3, you can see that 1, 3. This is the center of rotation of 3, 1, 3. And this is 1, 2, center of rotation of 2. So, center of rotation of 2, 1, 2 and center of rotation of 3, 1, 3, these two are opposite sides of this common center, so I, 2, 3. Since these two are in opposite sides, therefore direction of rotation of 2 and 3 will be opposite to each other. Now, 2 is given, it is rotating in anti-clockwise direction, therefore 3 will rotate in clockwise direction. So, in this way, you have calculated omega 3. Now another problem, uh, determine angular velocity of link AB. So uh, this diagram I have drawn again here, but um, uh, I have not drawn in true scale. What you have to do, you, uh, the angular velocity of this link is given. So I have named this link as 4. So omega 4 is given and you have to determine angular velocity of AB. That means angular velocity of 3 I have to determine. So this equation will become omega 3 angular velocity of 3 to be determined omega 4 is known so omega 3 divided by omega 4 is equal to so 3 4 i 3 4 to i 1 4 this 4 you have to write here and i 3 4 to i 1 3 so i 3 here i 3 4 to i 1 3 now you can see uh, all these points are not available uh, 1 3 4 3 4 is there uh, 1 4 1 4 is there and 1, 3, 1, 3 is not known. So you have to determine 1, 3 the same way in last example. Again, we will repeat the same process. So I, 1, 3, how can you get I, 1, 3? So I, 1, 3, I, 1, 2, 2, 3, 3, 4, 1, 4. So 1, 2, 2, 3, 1, 2. Uh -huh. This is 1, 2 and this is 2, 3. So draw line through these two points and 3 4 to 1 4 so this is 3 4 and 1 4 draw a line through this these two points so inter they are intersecting at this point so you you will get i13 at the same position where i14 is there so you will get i13 in same location as i14 so write this so i13 and i14 coinciding at same place now you can determine this length so one is i34 to 1 4 so this is 3 4 to 1 4 this length and this length is given 20 and similarly another one is 3 4 to 1 3 3 4 to 1 3 again this is 20 so this both lengths are same so omega 3 will be omega 4 so omega 3 is equal to omega 4 so it will be equal to 60 radian per second so you uh, without drawing uh, without drawing this diagram configuration diagram in according to scale you can calculate because both lengths are same so sometimes you may get uh, this type of problem where you don't need to draw in configuration diagram uh, true to scale. This is the final answer. So angular velocity. Now direction of rotation you can see uh, again this is the common center of rotation 3, 4 and 1, 3 and 1, 4 both are at same side. 
same side means direction of rotation of 4 and 3 will be same. So, 4 is rotating in anti-clockwise direction. So, 3 will also rotate in anti-clockwise direction. So, direction of rotation will be anti-clockwise. I have changed this problem. Now, we need to determine OA, now, angular velocity of OA. If you want to ang determine angular velocity of OA, so you have to change this equation omega 3 by omega 4 what you have to do omega 2 by omega 4 so we have to need we need to determine angular velocity of uh, this link 2 so omega 2 by omega 4 so 2 4 2 4 2 4 will be there and i 1 4 1 1 2 so here 1 4 same 1 2 here it will 1 3 will become 1 2 now i 2 4 is not known uh, we have to locate i 2 4 so i 2 4 the same way we will locate i 2 4 so I24 will be line joining 14 and 12, 14 and 12, uh, this is 14 and 12, so in this line. Similarly, I34 and 23, so this is 34 and 23, oh, this drawing line through these two points. So you can see this line and this line intersecting at this point, same place as I23, so I24 and I23 will be at same position. So, in this way you will get I24. Once you get I24, now you can see this distance I24 to 14, I24 to 14, 24 to 14, this length. So, from this right angle triangle, in this right angle triangle, from Pythagoras theorem, uh, you can determine root over 30 square minus 20 square. It is coming about 22.36. So, this length is 22.36, this length. Now I24 to 12, I24 is this point, 12 is this point, this length is given 20, so write this 20, now calculate omega 2 is equal to omega 4 which is equal to 60, multiply 22.36 divided by 20 is equal to 67 radian per second. Uh, now you can that, uh, see that omega 2 is calculated, now what about direction of rotation of omega 2, direction of rotation of link 2. So, you can see that this is the common center of rotation, 2, 4. For 2 and 4, I, 2, 4 is common center of rotation. And about this, com com uh, when you see other two rotation, uh, center of rotation of 2 is I, 1, 2. Center of rotation of 4 is I, 1, 4. Now, I, 1, 2 and 1, 4 are opposite sides of, are at opposite sides of I, 2, 4. Therefore, direction of rotation of 4 and 2 will be opposite. So, 4 is rotating in anti-clockwise direction, so 2 will rotate in clockwise direction. So, direction of rotation will be clockwise in this case. Uh, so, uh, this is all for today's class. Uh, now, in next some videos, we will discuss some more problems in uh, related to instantaneous center method, uh, some complex problems we will solve. Once again, thank you for watching this video.